Now, in my Excel course, Leadership Excel Skills for Business, that you can find on Udemy, I talk about the power of Microsoft Excel and how you can use Excel for a lot of different tasks and for a lot of things that you would have to buy dedicated software for. And one of those things is project management. Now, there's a lot of different project management tools. Microsoft Project is one of them, and there's many others. But the basic purpose of all those tools is to be able to monitor tasks, deadlines, and owners in a very clear and concise way. So I've created a template that can allow you to do that. And I want to show you that in this video today. So I have it right here. Looks very simple. This template will allow you to track your tasks in Microsoft Excel. Let me show you how it works. First of all, you have to enter your high level tasks, the things that you're doing. So let's say I'm creating a new website. So the high level task will be, let's say website design. Another one would be um, hiring. Another one would be marketing sales, and testing. So we have these high-level tasks. Then we need to add in the owners. So these are the owners that are gonna be part of this project plan. Then we just come to the project plan and we start filling in our tasks. So owners are gonna be based off of what we put in the owners. So let's say John Smith, let me start with John Smith. Um, he's gonna do the high-level task of website design. So what's the first thing? Create wireframe. Let's say this has a duration of five days. Maybe he starts supposed to start this at uh, January 3rd, 2021. You can see it populates the due date for you. If it has a due date of five days from the start date of January 3rd, 2021, the due date is January 8th, 2021. Now today is January 18th, 2021. So look, it's telling me that we are currently behind schedule. Dependencies, there's no dependencies. How much have we completed? Let's say we've completed uh, about 70%, okay? So there you go, that's the first task we put in there. So it's behind schedule already, but we're currently in progress. Notice when it was at 0%, we were not in progress, right? It had not started. And if I, uh, let's just say, actually, let's say we finished this one, so I'll change it to 100%. It's complete, all right? So we're not behind schedule. All right, let me do another one. Notice how the, the sheet is just updating the way I want it to update, giving me some very good uh, indicators that leadership usually likes. Because you know, leadership usually like things to be spelled out to them, presented very neatly and succinctly. So this is a very good way to do it. So let's say Bruce Leroy also did something in uh, website design, but he did the uh, documentation. Now, documentation is something that should take, let's say it takes five days. Let's say he was supposed to start at 1 7 2021. And uh, let's say this one has a dependency on the first task, right? Because the first task is create wireframe. Maybe you need that to be done. So I'm going to put in the row of the first one, which is row two here. And look, there's a conflict. And the reason why there's a conflict is because there is a dependency on this one being complete, so we're starting on January 7th, but we're not gonna be complete with the first one until January 8th, so there's a dependency. We're behind schedule and there's a dependency. So maybe I should change the date, the start date to January 9th, 2021. No conflict, and then we can continue. So not started. Let me just fill out the rest of these. All right, so I've populated my project plan with a few more tasks. As you can see, we have all the different owners, we have the tasks, we have the status. So there's one task that's complete, which is creating the wireframe. We have another task, which is creating documentation that's not started, and I'm currently behind schedule. So I need to get on that. Remember, if I just uh, start doing work on it, then I come in here and change it to, maybe I'm 25% complete. It was changed to in progress, but I'll still be behind schedule, right? So there's formulas in place in this Excel sheet that's allowing me to update the status and also update the color of that field so that it's easily presentable in a leadership format. Now, there's a few that I've not started and they have conflicts. For example, task number six has a conflict with task number seven. 
So task number six is supposed to be started when task number seven is complete. But as you can see, that's not the case. That's why I have a conflict. If I want to make that change, then I can start task number six to start at uh, the 18th and then that conflict will go away. And the same thing, task number seven has a conflict from task number three. So task number three ends on January 14th, but task number seven starts on January 12th, so there's a conflict. So I can come here and change that. Let's say we start on the 15th. So the project plan has ways for you to avoid conflicts, has ways for you to, up, to update your status. And above that, I can go back to the owners and I'll actually be able to see how many days each owner or each task is spending. So if I come to owners, you can see uh, John Smith and America Francis, they have 15 days of work. Herbert Randall and Bruce Leroy, they are uh, they have only five days. What it's doing here is it's just adding up the, the, the duration that each person has assigned to their name, right? And then the same thing with the tasks. We can see that the tasks that take the most amount of time so far, website design, marketing, testing. Right now, sales does not have any task assigned. So it's a good summary tab for you to look at what you're doing, all right? So this is just one of the tools that I teach in my uh, Leadership Excel Skills for Business course on Udemy. You could also download this template. I have it available to purchase on my blog. If you'd like to see more content like this, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.